My name's Ian Douglas and I'm a storyteller. Uh, nowhere really. Well, originally Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, but I live on a boat with my partner Joe, who's just over there, who's working on the project we're employed to do for Jura over the weekend. So we live on a narrow boat. At the moment, it's in Manchester. God, I'm just taking it in. It's hard, isn't it? It's completely different from anywhere I've been before. I've got memories of the West Coast because uh, I learnt stories from a West Coast uh, storyteller years and years ago. So there's like uh, imagery inside the stories that he told me that some and some of it is bang on and some of it is completely different to what I actually imagined. And it's amazing. And what's really lovely is coming to the island and uh, taking the mick out of the kids. Because you're on the mainland and you take it all for granted, don't you? Technology, all these kind of things, and you come here and nothing works. So actually, it's, uh, it's just a completely different way of life altogether. And I imagine how isolated it feels at times, but there's magic here that you ain't going to get anywhere else, are you? You know, certainly not over there on that big island anyway. I've noticed on the map there's a road and it goes up, doesn't it? And then it stops, and you kind of think there's not many many places you can go in this in the, in these islands of ours where the road stops, and beyond that, uh, it could lead anywhere, couldn't it? You know. And I've spent a bit of time in Scotland, kind of walking, and I know how hard it is. You know, they kind of go, oh, the wilds of Scotland, you know. But you go, yeah, the wilds of Scotland are dead hard to get into and get. But once you're out there, I kind of I like the idea. On Monday, we've got a day off, so we're going to go up that road and get to the end, and then go and explore and see what's out there. And who knows? You know, what I do know is in the day that we've spent with the children here on the island, and it's been mainly children we've been talking to, is there's a sense that just underneath the landscape, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of magic under there. Magic's the best word to use, isn't it? There's a lot of magic under there, and they're quite in touch with it. You know, they're quite in touch with what's going on around them, because it's right there, isn't it? You know, the, the schoolhouse looks out onto it. God, how can you not be inspired by a landscape like this? It's beautiful.